boy Rap Milwaukee 414 coming straight to you from Snick Ass Color Line. I'm back with another one. Yes, I've been gone for a few days now. I know, I know, I know. But uh, the situation is, is like I was actually out of commission for basically almost a whole week because uh, last week uh, on Valentine's, went out to eat with the wife and everything. Um, and then that night I ended up getting food poisoning. Mess around. We went to, uh, this Mexican restaurant downtown, a uh, well-known big restaurant downtown. And I ended up getting food poisoning out of all, you know, out of all things last week. So I actually was out of commission in the hospital, uh, you know, and out of commission for a few days. So, but, uh, you know, thank God I'm back up and running again. Um, I'm almost basically at a hundred percent, but, uh, yeah, I was out of commission last week. Um, you know, since Valentine's day because of food poisoning or whatnot, but that's neither here nor there. I'm back. Yes, I'm back with another one. So today, um, today is actually Tuesday, but like I said, I was out of commission. So the whole weekend, with the black cement threes, the gold toe ones, uh, the uh, all star Kyrie's, like everything. I took an L and I missed out on everything since I was out of commission uh, and whatnot, you know, so being in the hospital, or whatever. So since I missed out on everything, um, man, tried to hit the streets, you know, uh, you know, hit the mall and whatnot. I just took an L everywhere. So, but one thing I actually did come up on, I actually saw them yesterday. Damn. Got the Kobe box, all black. Got the Kobe signature logo on the top there. For all you box heads. Size 14. Y'all see the back, the traditional Nike box. I got here the Kobe One Pro Tro. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I am, to be honest with you. But it's the Kobe One Pro Tro, size 14. Uh, colorway is black, white, varsity maize. Uh, which, to be honest with you, varsity maize is yellow. Um, so, uh, retail suggested price is 175. What we have here the Kobe One Pro Tro. Let me get the other one out. Put the box to the side real quick. All right, so Kobe One Pro Tro. These are dope. These are really, really dope. When I first saw them, I was like, yo, these is fire. Um... I was too busy, like I said, trying to get up on the Black Cement 3s or the Gold Toe 1s. Excuse me, before trying to get up on these. So that's why I wasn't on a mission yesterday when I saw them. But um, like I said, I, actually after talking to the homie Daniel, I was like, yo, I'm going to go cop. If they have it for me, but more so for him first before myself. Uh, so I wasn't able to hook him up, like I said. And um, they actually had this size 14, the only one that they had left. I was like, yo, all right, let me get it. And uh, first things first, our uh, first reaction, like... They look amazing. They really do. They really do look amazing. Uh, a few things about, about the shoe though, offhand, is that it has some glue marks, which is typical, which I thought I which I think is pretty whack, you know, whatever. Um on the midsole, they have some glue marks. Um the upper leather, the black upper leather is phenomenal though. Like this upper leather is crazy. It's crazy soft, it's tumbled leather on that toe box. Wraps around the mid right there. This leather is amazing. And then on the inner panel, right here at the mid is a suede, is a nice suede. I don't know if you guys can see that. My finger going back and forth to see the texture, the patterns going back and forth. And then also on the toe box, it has that suede, that new buck suede on the toe box also as well. So this, I mean, you know, the, the quality on here is really dope. 
just a little minor stuff like the glue marks on the mid panel here is showing really good which kind of sucks um and then on the um the midsole the white midsole zoom in the back like they didn't put an they didn't put enough coats of white on the back panel here so you can see it which after like one or two wears really after one wear like it's going to be hella obvious it's going to be hella obvious um they got the 2018 logo la all-star weekend was in la which was actually this past weekend which is really dope um inside the tongue they got the target that's really dope on the lace tips they got metal lace tips on the laces rope laces up tempo written on the back Kobe signature logo on the tongue so I mean overall like I said um, uh, first reaction they're really dope Getting really in depth and looking into them though, like the glue marks, man, that's that, that's pretty whack, man. They could have they could have did a better job, and it might just be this pair to be honest with you. I'm not gonna you know because I don't know if it's other pairs like this or whatnot. It may just be this pair, you know. Um, it ain't nothing that I can't, you know, that I can't fix myself. But um, I mean that's something that you just shouldn't have to do, you know. But um, I mean these 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 are dope. These are dope. I'm sitting here our first reaction, so I mean if I pause a little bit, y'all gotta excuse me because I'm just looking at them for the first time, and um, cause I really didn't look at them in store really hard that much. I was just in and out. Got the zoom air on the bottom also, in yellow and in a white coloring. Uh, carbon fiber wrapped around the back heel which is really dope. So, I mean, really out of, out of I say out of one to 10, I give these, this pair right here, the, uh, the, the shoe overall, I put like this, a one to 10 shoe overall, besides the glue marks that I'm seeing, I give the shoe a nine. I give, I'll give the shoe a nine. The, the glue marks and then the, um, not enough white coats on the white panel in the back. It knocks it down to an 8.5 on this particular pair for me personally. Um, but the shoe overall is really dope. If you're able to actually get a pair of these, um, you know, most definitely cop. They're sold out everywhere. I was lucky enough to get this pair. And like I said, I was trying to get, I was trying to get these for, you know, for my homie Daniel. I wasn't even trying to get these for myself. Priority first. My first priority was trying to get the Black Cement 3s or the, you know, and the, um, uh, the gold toe ones. So, um, you know, I was fortunate and lucky enough to get this, uh, to get these, um, you know, which I'm really appreciative of. I just, I just came up on luck. I mean, they, that, that's what happens sometimes. You end up going to go look for some, you know, one thing and you end up seeing something else, you know, that, uh, lucky enough is in your size. And I just came up, you know, on these Kobe ones. So, Man, I mean, uh, same colorway um, as my alma mater, you know, playing college ball, you know. Um, so that's another, that was another big thing for me for uh, getting these is that it's the same colorway, um, you know, as Grambling State University. If anybody really knows me or you guys, um, you've seen previous videos on the channel or whatnot, I went to Grambling State University. So uh, play basketball, you know, so these, um, really hit kind of close to home for me uh because when these actually came out when kobe came came out with these i was actually in college and these are in the same colorway so these they they really kind of hit home to me um so that's why i really have a um a big thing or the why these are close to me so anyway not trying to get all sentimental or you know anything like that but um these 
are amazing, man. So if you guys get a chance, if you guys already got them, you know, let me know what you guys think about them. Uh, if you don't have them, let me know what you guys think about this video. If you're able to cop or uh, if you would cop, you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section. If you guys don't like them, uh, let me know what you don't like about them in the comment section. Um, man, and that's pretty much it, man. So it's your, it's your boy once again, Red Milwaukee 414. Coming straight to you from Snicker S. Cold Line. Make sure you guys check us out on all our social media outlets. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Still on the road to 1,000. Um, the channel is growing. So very much please hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. And uh, comment in the comment section, man. In the comment section, y'all. Let me know what's good. And um, I'm out. All right? I'm glad to be back. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace.